not about us. It's about you, oh God. In the name of Jesus, God bless this house. Bless this house. Bless this atmosphere. In Jesus' name, everybody say amen. amen. Come on, say amen again. Amen. Hallelujah. Come on, give God praise right there. Come on, you can do better than that. Praise God right there. Let us all go back to the old time way. And it somewhat coincides with what Bishop was talking to me about on yesterday afternoon, returning back to the Lord. And God was dealing with me about that because I knew it was Youth Sunday and I, and I was going to get all dressed up and this and that and then Minister Shamil Bostic said, no, nah, bro, you don't have to do this. You Sunday, you can dress down. I said, you, I said now you're going to make me hurt myself. I said, because I'm dressed up, I try to confine within a certain area. But now I'm loose. I'm loose. Let us all go back. Returning back to God. Returning back to God. So the, the sermon that I was going to preach unto the youth and unto the young people, because I'm a young, people, young person's preacher, even though I covered the house, it, it, it makes me feel good. Y'all don't know, when I used to come here and the young people used to run up to me and say, Elder Green, I was like, how they know who I am and I ain't been here in months? That means that something I said over the pulpit got to that child. It got to that child and that, that just, that's, that means more to me than, than anything, more to me than anything. So what I was going to preach, I was because I thought about the choir, and I almost told y'all to sing about the blood, and then the Lord said, wait and listen to what they got to say. And I'm glad that I held on, because we are winners. Young people, believe in what you sing. Just don't sing it, because it's what's taught in choir rehearsal. Anything and everything that you sing has ministry, should have ministry to it, especially when it comes to Sunday morning service and being ministering to the crowd. Believe in what you're singing. Minister and pray on what you're singing. Then you'll be effective when it comes to Sunday morning to bless the house and the people of God will be blessed. When we was coming up in choir rehearsal, we were so much into the songs that we sung in choir rehearsal. Choir members got saved and filled with the Holy Ghost. In choir rehearsal, God called a prayer, prayer meeting and choir rehearsal was messed up because we believed in what we sang. And we can go to any other church any convention, any district meeting because we had that type of spirit God would slay the house we need to go back to that hello somebody, we need to go back to that so what I, I was going to preach brother Michael my subject was praise your way through it, I think I put it on Facebook, that's what I was going to preach and then uh, minister Shamil Bossing messed me up because she gave the verse to what I was going to preach and I was like, why would my little sister do this to me right now when I'm so divided? She's just spreading me way out. Praise your way through it. But God, I sat there for a while because I'm a preacher that preaches by the spirit of the house. Because they're trying to get me to come out. I said, I don't want to come up yet. I want to sit right there. I don't want to go to prayer room. I want to go to office. I want to be in the atmosphere of the people of God. That's how I minister. That's how I'll be able to feed the need of the people. Is I got to be amongst them. I don't have to be in the pulpit. I don't have to be up with the dignitaries and all that. I like to be out in the crowd where I can feel and I can touch and I can see what's going on and God can speak to me because when he speaks, because he has to minister to me before he can minister to y'all. Oh, y'all don't hear me. That's why I don't deal with transcripts so much in notes. Hello, somebody, because you get stuck in that air. God has to deal with me. And sometimes God will get me up in here and hear me focus on two or three people instead of the house and switch the message on me. You got to be ministers of God. Minister Pete, those of you that are in ministry. Hello, somebody. Yeah, you pray about what you're going to preach, but sometimes God changes that, that, that subject and changes that, ser that sermon for the house. The best sermon that you can ever have is your test. Nobody can tell your testimony better than you. The old songwriter used to say, you don't know like I know what the Lord has done for me. Now who can preach that better than you? Hello somebody in here. So then 
I, I, I pulled everything, I pulled everything together. And when I got, got here and I sat down, I sat right over there, right there behind Brother Michael. He said, let us all go back to the old time way. And I started thinking about it and I had been praying on it. I said, Lord, I said, the old time way. I said, God, you need, we need something now to bring uh, my olive back to its strength. Back to its strength. Hello, somebody in here. Hallelujah. I said, Lord, I said, they're trying to pray. They're trying to fast. God, they got training going and this and that. And I started thinking about because y'all think I wasn't here. I really was here. I watched the message by Pastor Leo Lewis. I watched the message by Bishop Owens. I watched the message by Timon Bostic and, 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 and Bishop uh, uh, Murray and different ones. I've been watching you. I've been praising God with you. I've been shouting with the choir and everything. And I've been bragging and boasting about you. And the thing about it, I had to go way back, way back. And I said, God, I said, what is it going to take? Because see, what you got to realize, where there's unity, there's strength. And there's also strength in numbers. Hello, somebody. And I said, God, what is it going to take? See, the, the thing is, some of us are, are stuck in disciple mode. And you might say, well, Brother Ron, what are you talking about disciple mode? The disciples, they, they was fine long as see. The thing was that they, they didn't have, they had back there that we didn't have. They had Jesus. Jesus was like right there. And see, the thing about the disciples is the disciples, all they had to do was just go turn and go to him. But see, the thing that we got to realize, people of God, we got something that they don't have. Because he told them, let not your heart be troubled. And he sent back a comforter. So we have access to the comforter. Something that they didn't have. Hello, somebody. We have something that's called the Holy Ghost. Some of, oh, I'm about to get in trouble right here, but I told y'all I changed. Some of us say that we say sanctified and filled with the Holy Ghost, baptized in Jesus' name. But see, I got a problem if you're saying that you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost, and somebody's got to always pray for you every Sunday. Somebody's always got to come to your rescue, and you said that you're saved, sanctified, filled with the Holy Ghost. I don't know what kind of Holy Ghost y'all got up in here, but the Holy Ghost that I got come back in the power that I can, if I got to need some healing. I ain't got to wait till an elder or preacher put hands on me. If you got the Holy Ghost, you should be able to lay your hands on yourself and say, in the name of Jesus, I am. The problem with some of us is we're so programmed that we can't get deliverance until Sunday comes. Something's wrong with that. What kind of Holy Ghost do you got? Some of us need to get baptized again because a dry devil and came up a wet devil and still have not got the Holy Ghost like the Bible said. Oh, it's quiet in here but that's alright that's good I told you I'm not to say hallelujah come up a wet wet demon got the same demonic spirit you dead had when you went down in Jesus name look at your name and say neighbor do we got to go down again I have a problem with that. Let us go back to the old time way. Choirs do not sing like they used to sing 20 years ago. And I said, Lord, there's a problem there. Church folk don't dance. Yes, we dance, but we're not dancing like we danced years ago. Yes, we speak in tongue, but these tongues now, I don't know if you cussing or you speaking in tongue. We're not even speaking in tongue like we used to. The songwriter said, what kind of church is this? And sometimes I have to sit there, Brother Mike, and say, I don't know. And then the songwriter come back and say, a hand clapping. Then I said, well, they ain't clapping their hands. A foot stumping, I said, they're not stumping their feet anymore. A tongue talking, I said, I don't know what they're saying because I can't interpret it. What kind of church is this? We talk about going back to the old time way. The old church used to cry, oh Zion, what's the matter now? 
You don't pray like you used to pray. You don't fast like you used to fast. You don't sing like you used to sing. Oh, Zion, what's the matter now? Things have gotten so modernized and so changed. Like I told you, they talk so much about prosperity. I don't want to hear about prosperity if you ain't got faith. If you got faith, faith brings prosperity. Because the scripture said without faith, it is impossible to please God. So I can tell you, you're going to have a big house on the hill. You ain't going to have a big house on the hill and you ain't got the money to pay for it. Oh, it's quiet in here. Huh? We got to go back to a place where there's change. First of us, first of all, in us. It does not start you think, well, well, so-and-so did this, so-and-so did that. But the question is, what did you do? It starts with you. Just like it preaches at the home church. True, deli- true deliverance that starts with you. You cannot be delivered until you realize, like the prodigal son, you come to yourself and realize the state that you're in. Some of us got too much pride to realize the state that we're in. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing to me, but that's all right. You got too much pride to realize the state that you're in. Some of us don't even realize that you got spiritual leechers, spiritual blood suckers sucking the life out of you. Don't don't even realize, hallelujah, that you are being spiritually killed. Went to God, I was praying. I said, Lord, I said, what, 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 what is it? I said, what is it? What, what is the thing? I said, preachers have came through and blessed God. My little brother there, Leo, there is like Leo uh, Lewis that came through. And I was listening to that, listening to that, sir. I said, Doc, I even texted him and messaged him, him and his wife. I said, I thank God for you. I said, God, God, what is it? I said, all the preachers that came through and laid it down. Apostle Gibbs came through and laid it down. I said, God, what is it? He said, uh, Brother Ron, he said, I'm going to tell you what it is. They need to go back to the old, old, old time way. Hallelujah. They used to need to go back to mother's sermons. Hallelujah. When back there when people was getting delivered while mother was preaching. People were getting delivered while praise service was going on. See, it don't happen like that. Some people act like they can't get delivered until there's an altar call. Sometimes God calls the altar. Y'all don't hear me. Sometimes God calls the altar call hallelujah when God calls the altar call there's no need to have another altar call because God already took care of the house there's no need to put chairs out there because God has already delivered the house God will deliver the house in the choir song he'll deliver it in morning prayer and praise and worship because when God delivers the house and the anointing is there after God's anointing is gone there's nothing else Preachers, let me say this to the, to, to the ministers. There's no need to even preach after God's anointing has left. You want to go back to the old time way? The old time church was not programmed. The old time church didn't care nothing of what, what was on the lineup. The thing with the old time church, they, they look at what's on the lineup and they say, when is God, where is God going to show up? And when he shows up, y'all, excuse me, everything on here is done with. Going back to the old time way. When God show up, the lineup got to go. And I was praying, God I said, Lord, I said, what does Mountain Olive need uh, to go back to the old time way? And the Lord said, well, you got to realize the things that have happened over the last, I say, five years. He said, there's wounds, there's scars, there's pain, there's heaviness, there's stress, there's oppression. I said, and he started building these things on me. I said, God, how is the church still standing? He said, Brother Green, the church is still standing because mother never left. I 
hear that in my spirit. Well, some of y'all say, well, mother's dead. No, mother's not dead. She's much alive. Her spirit is walking. Up and down the floor. I saw it in the videos when the, when the service would get high. and the, the service, I saw her one time in Minister Shamil Bostic. I saw her another time in somebody else. She was just walking the floor and just holding their, their hands while she was walking the floor. I told y'all the last time I was here, mother ain't gone. Hallelujah. And it showed itself in one of the meetings that mother was not gone. Hallelujah. When the dignitaries, I'm going to say it on live Facebook live, when the dignitaries was sitting there thinking the church was going one way and mother crossed her legs hallelujah she walked the floor and said that's not what God wants her spirit is still walking this place and don't get in your mind like ghosts that you see on the movie no she's walking spiritually in the Holy Ghost throughout these grounds because see what y'all don't realize the founder hallelujah is built with the building and see that's something that you can't get rid of I don't even care who I don't care who God sets approval over the house the founder's spirit will always be on the ground Oh, it's quiet in here. And the reason I know that, and I'm trying to move along real quick. The reason I know that, because in her last hours sitting over there, hello somebody, I left the house. I sat on the stairs over there like a little boy, and I prayed years ago. Hallelujah. And they said, Brother Green, uh, Mother is ready to see you now. And I went and prayed with Mother. I saw not only her, but I saw the saints of old. Mother is not the only one that's still walking these grounds. There's some old pioneers that are sitting guard and some of them sit right next to you. Hallelujah. And if they would talk to you, they would scare you. Hallelujah. Because some of them are sitting there saying, what is wrong with you? Mother taught you. Mother preached to you. Mother prayed for you. Hallelujah. Those angels are sitting there. My olive AOH. Those angels are sitting there saying, what's the matter now? So I went on and I prayed and I fasted and I prayed and I said, God, what is it? And he said, well, son, I'm going to tell you what it is, what it takes and what's, what's happening right now. He said, there again, I think I, I don't know if I preached it here, but I preached it. Be aware of the separation point. He said, there has been a separation from, from the church and God. And I said, Lord, what do you mean there's a separation from church and God? These are saved folk. He said, that's all right. I don't care because there is something that creeped in between the church and God. I said, well, Lord, what is it going to take, though, to bring the church back? He said, the church need to realize what is separating them from me. And I said, okay. I said, well, he said, they need to go back. They read the scripture, but they don't read the scripture. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, take them back to Romans and remind them in the 8th chapter and the 31st verse when the question was asked, what shall separate? What then say that to these things uh, 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 be for us or who can be against us? He said, he that spared not his son, but delivered him up for all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? He said, who shall lay anything down to the charge of God's elect? It is God that justifies. It says, who is he that condemns? Is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again? Who is even at the right hand of God and also maketh intercession for us? Here it is. He said, who shall separate us from the love of God? 
And this is what is separating my olive from God. Who shall separate us from the love of God? Shall tribulations or distress, persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? It says, for as it is written, for thy sake we are killed all the day long. And see, that's what we got to realize, that we are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's, he only comes to do that because we're allowing him to do that. We know what the enemy comes to do, but the question is, what did you come to do? Some of us have gotten to the point because of so many things that have happened over the five, last five years. Some of us have gotten to the point of giving in to what has happened. And that's not what God wants. Some of us have gotten to the point that we have just sat down. Looking for an answer from somewhere else. And God said the answer is held within. It starts with you. The church will never go forward until you get you together and stop blaming it on everybody else. It's quiet in here, but that's good. I'm going to jump down to 37th verse. It says, for I am persuaded. We have to get back to persuasion. We have to come to ourselves. Once we look in the mirror and we get truly delivered by God, we have to come to ourselves. If you got to get saved again, get saved again. Yes. You want to go back to the old time way, get saved again, get filled again, get baptized again. There's nothing wrong with too much baptism. Nothing wrong with too much salvation, too much Holy Ghost. There's nothing wrong with it. If you got to do it again, do it again. And if you got too much pride to do it in front of us in church, do it at home. Get saved again. Because some of y'all have backslidden and don't even know that you have backslidden already. Because you're so stuck in pride, hallelujah, that everything's all right. And you figure, well, I got this title and I'm labeled and this and that, hallelujah. And can't nobody take that from me but God. Somebody say, but God. but God. What we got to realize is, is people of God, y'all y'all scratching your head and say, what, what in the world is going on? What is the world going on? I said, I'll tell you what's the world going on. I told them a few weeks ago, or probably a month ago, God, is, we, we have so much delivered, the, the, uh, division, hallelujah, in the nation. We got so much division in the church. This is church over here, and that one's church over there, and this religion over here, and this doctrine over here, and this one's better than that one, that one's better than and this one inside and outside the church. Hallelujah. Number 45 is looking at North Korea, and this one is looking at that one, and that one's looking at this this one and God said okay I am the creator let him loose he sends one storm to the southwest he sends one storm straight up to the south he sends another storm to the northwest he rolls another storm behind that and if you don't really recognize and realize what's going on before one storm can completely stop another storm comes and he said okay I got y'all focused on the storms and the storms are rolling he said okay drop some little shaking in Mexico hello some shake some stuff up in that hallelujah you look at that and another storm I'm coming hallelujah and I told him two weeks ago stop taking God for granted you better praise him uh, like you really mean it hallelujah because you think nothing will drop in Las Vegas because we're not sitting on the coast you better not take God for granted and less than 12 hours after I said it the man went on a shooting spree and started taking folk out and I reminded them last Sunday again I told y'all do not take God for granted 
And guess what? He's not done yet. I sat down and began to pray because, see, I talk God, talk to God like he's a human being. I said, Lord, what you up to now? He said, son, if you don't realize, he said, let me show you something. If you realize it or not, he said, what is everybody doing now? Everybody is coming together. There's no religion. There's no um, um, barriers or nothing. There's no this and that. Everybody's coming together and praying to what? One God. wiping things out but he has everybody's focus and I said well Lord I said Lord I see what you're doing I see what you're doing God I don't take it for granted where I'm at and I thank you for where I'm at I said God I said well what's really going on and he said son I'm not I'm not done yet he said I got the world's attention he said and if I don't get enough attention because I'm a jealous God he said the next thing I'm going to do is start going into dabbling in people's personal lives to even get their attention even more look at your neighbor and say neighbor it might be you. We got to go back to the old time. Way. So he's got everybody's attention. Hallelujah. But the thing is, before we can uh, be conquerors, we have to be truly delivered first. We got to be truly delivered first. Hello, somebody. And just like I said, we might have to go down to these stations. That little fairy, fairy tale prayer that we've been praying, that prayer don't work anymore. The devil knows that prayer and he's laughing at that one. Hello, somebody. But look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's time to switch it up. It's time to switch it up. God's not looking for the same thing anymore. God wants to know how bad do you want it. Hello, somebody. Drastic times call for drastic measures. Hello, somebody up in here. So we can't do it the same way. I'm going to tell you another thing that y'all going to have to start doing. Hallelujah. I was sitting uh, at home and I said, Lord, you want to do that? He said, yeah. He said, the problem is, he said, some of y'all came come here and you sit in the same seat like your name is written on it. God said that need to be switched up too. Hello, somebody. Their house, that needs to be changed within the house. Hallelujah. And the change within you. Hallelujah. Before God can change the spirit of the house. That's it right there. That needs to be changed in you before God can change the spirit of the house. Hello, somebody in here. Hallelujah. So if it takes for you, some of y'all need to switch up right now. Hallelujah. Because the same uh, bad spirit that's been with you for five and ten years follows you every time you come in the door like an usher. That spirit ushers you right in to your seat you say what well, usher ushered me in no that spirit ushered you in right to your seat but God says some of y'all need to leave that spirit there and move to another somebody didn't even get what I just said some of y'all need to leave that spirit right there and move y'all still didn't get what I just said even if you switch up where you're sitting and move over to another seat some only one person got what I said your deliverance is not in your seat your deliverance is in another spot It's in another spot. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, I've been trying to bless them, but they ain't moved. I've been giving, trying to give them breakthrough, but they ain't moved. I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, so-and-so's deliverance is over there, but they're allowing somebody else to get their blessing because they ain't moved yet. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things of not seen. Hallelujah. Faith without works is dead. And the thing about faith is faith don't sit in the same spot. Faith moves. And I said, Lord, what is it going to take for us to go back in the old time way? He said, my olive got to switch up. They need to move. 
I said, Lord, what are you talking about? He said, they need to move. He said, they have not shook heaven yet. He said, that's why I'm not going to open up a blessing. I'm not going to open up blessings for them yet because they ain't moved yet. So God is waiting for you to move. And when you move, God said, that's when he's going to move. You said when praises go up, blessings come down. But some of y'all ain't sending up the right praise yet to receive the right blessing. Hello, somebody. I believe it was Tasha Cobb said send up a sound from the earth there is a simple sound that God is waiting that the be released from this spot from the earth before he releases a blessing unto Mount Olive I preached a sermon minister Shamil hallelujah God is looking for a yell I said Lord what are you talking about he said yes I said in my scripture make a joyful noise unto the Lord hallelujah but God changed that he said he's looking for a yell he's looking for a scream he's looking for a holler I said God what's the difference God said when a black people sends up a yell that's a desperation call it gets my attention oh y'all just didn't hear what I just said when you send up a yell it gets God's attention and once God's attention is gotten that's when God releases an anointing over the house anybody everybody somebody yeah oh that ain't good enough somebody yeah The scripture said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his them together. It's busy saying, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us praise him together. Let us yell together. Sometimes we're going to have to cry together. But those tears of sadness will turn to tears of joy. You might say, well, Brother Ron, what are you talking about? The scripture said, weeping may endure for a night. But joy, 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 joy cometh in the morning. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you might be crying now, but sooner or later, late in the midnight hour, God will you turn it around and it will work in your favor. Somebody yell. Oh, y'all ain't yelling like you mean it. Somebody yell for real, for real. A little bit louder. 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 Yeah. Yeah. If you got the whole down the inside you need to stir up the gift stir up what God has on you and when you stir it up God will stir up the house and when God stir up the house this one will be blessed that one will be blessed this one will be delivered in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. somebody yell I got a feeling that everything is going to be all right, be all right, be all right, be all right. The Holy Ghost told me that everything is going to be all right, be all right, somebody yell. Somebody yell! Somebody yell! Somebody scream! Somebody holler! Somebody holler! Yeah! Yeah! Grab your neighbor by hand and say, 
neighbor how bad you want your blessing. Grab your neighbor by the hand and say, neighbor, how bad you want your loved one saved. Somebody say, neighbor, how bad you want your body healed. Somebody say, neighbor, how bad you want your deliverance. I dare you to forget about everything. I dare you to let go of everything. I dare you to clear your mind of what you're going through. I dare you to scream. Let it go, 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 let it go. 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 Stand on your feet and scream. Stand on your feet and scream. Let us go back, make a noise. Let us go back, make a noise. Let us go back to the old time way. Let us go back, take a spread. Repeat after me, say, Lord, take me back, take me back, take me back where I first believed. Take me back where I trusted in you. Take me back, Lord. Lord, take me back. To the old time way. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I'm, I'm almost done, but I need y'all to do this, and I'm going to leave y'all alone. I promise you, I'm going to leave y'all alone. Because, see, some of y'all are serious, and some of y'all ain't there yet. But I dare y'all, I duck, I thank you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, thank you, Holy Ghost. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you could do it, I dare you to do it in faith. I dare you to run to this altar and kneel down and say, Lord, take me back. I dare you to come to the altar and say, Lord, take me back. He's going to release some people. Hallelujah. Lord, take me back. Lord, let us all go back to the old time way. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Save us again. Fill us again. Deliver us again. Yes. Take me back. Hallelujah. That's right. That's right. That's right. Hallelujah. 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 You're almost there. You're almost there. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. God, do it for your people. In the name of Jesus. God, we ask you now. In the name of Jesus. God, save us again. God, fill us again. In the name of Jesus. God, give me my voice back. God, give me my shout back. God, give me my scream back. In the name of Jesus. God, give me my anointing back. In the name of Jesus. God, break barriers. God, take down walls. In the name of Jesus. Let us all go back. Let us all go back. Let us all go back to the old time way. Let us all go back to fasting and praying. Let us all go back to teaching and preaching. Let us all go back. Let us all go back. Take me back. Take me back. Ow! Oh, God. 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 That's 
right, that's right. So now what I want you to do, as you stand near your feet and go back to your feet, your seat, I want you to clap your hands and say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, say, thank you, Jesus. Give him praise in advance. Say, Lord, I thank you. Come on, say, Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you. Lord, I praise you. Lord, I lift you up. I give you the glory. I give you the honor. Let us all go back to the old time way. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. Ow. Thank you. Ow. Gosh. Ow. Somebody yell. Somebody yell! Somebody scream! Somebody holler! Yell! This is where the praise come in right now. If you got an advanced praise, God's got an advanced blessing heading your way. I dare three people to give him a real right now praise. I dare three people to give him a right now praise right now. Turn them down. Pick them up. Put them down. Pick them up. That's right. Give them praise and give. There it is, 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 there it is. Woo! Let's go all the 